haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icarite, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now, when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances. Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being, physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Just watch, okay? This is the best part, where he's questioning the suspect. You want me to question you? You don't, you want to? <laughs> Should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? What if it had? Where do you think we'd be now? I don't know. Maybe I... maybe I wouldn't have. Huh? Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. more than once. More and more smugglers getting caught. Lucky for me. Kara, how you feeling? Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. Can you hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. You're no fucking medical miracle, James. Chief. We've been busting our humps in the same department for half a century. You know I know this fucking job like nobody else. And you know I've got your back, too. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. Doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every test and commission out there. 
Fuck yes! <laughs> uh, I owe you, Chief. Goddamn sick leave had me climbing the walls. Not another word or I'll change my mind. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, Sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. into some bullshit, didn't he? And I had such good stats up to now. Crap. Yeah, I'm fucking thrilled to be working with you, too. Uh, what can I say? Your reputation precedes you, especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. Well, I don't remember much about the accident. People tell me it was kind of a spectacle. You don't remember? So, what, you haven't synchronized yet? I'm in sync like a fucking Swiss watch, okay? <laughs> Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. Okay, I'm back. To my best friends now, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. Listen, he's a good cop. Just keep an eye on it, okay? Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. I warn you, though, I am not saving anybody from Demer. I got principles. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about how they make such awful food. Anybody who works there deserves whatever happens to them. James? The post office? That girl in the hat overshadows more and more of the city, doesn't she? Sorry? Well, the one from the body auction ad? I haven't seen it. How could you not see it? It's on every goddamn corner. Looks like... TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? I have business here. Half the city's had business there lately, thanks to that new brothel. I am not in a brothel. <laughs> sure, and I totally believe you. Okay, Playboy, go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3. Love me. 
That's just how it is. I just I want you to understand I'm in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I've been working my ass off, so I can't afford any mistakes right now. And, you know, you're sort of notorious for unconventional methods. Ooh, me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot. No promises. Great. Better than nothing, I guess. That's the spirit. James Cara, 77112P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. 984. No authorization. Shit. Sarah, I need access. Oh, right. Uh, enter my number. 116739. Thanks. 116739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. automatically destroyed after reading. Select a section to read the files. All we have to do is yank the ick right out of the corpse and get it to the consciousness transmission center. You've done this before, huh? About a thousand times. But why all the secrecy? Don't tell me this is about some big wig getting caught with his pants down. Oh, what a fucking cliche. Subject's name is Edward Green. Who? Hard to confuse this mug with anybody else. Okay, Green, Edward. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck! You know who this guy is? Relax. You said yourself this was a routine job, right? <sighs> routine my ass. Green's the head of the Covenant. Not to mention he used to be the goddamn Secretary of Hell. Fucking hell, James! Why isn't this going through official channels? Yes. A favor for the Chief. What the fuck does Chief Steiner have to do with somebody like Edward Green? Green's been shaking down the city for 200 years. He's not gonna want the wrong people handling the Ziggurite. That's where we slide in. Play this right, we'll come off like heroes. Well, heroes to the right people anyway. Look, there's always an upside to shit like this. You get Green's gratitude? Bet your left ass, Chica. 
will speed up that dream promotion. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Wanna tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. You don't leave the house much, do you? What? What kind of question is that? I'm just connecting dots. You haven't seen the ad that is literally everywhere. And you don't want to come with me. I already told you. That's because it's against the rules. And stop detective baiting me, or whatever the hell you call it. Sure. You're right. Not my business. We'll respect your space. Um, thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I'm all up to speed. Then let's get on with it. Attention. Documentation will be automatically destroyed. James, I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but have you recovered from the accident? Like, mentally, I mean? Thanks for the concern. I've never felt better. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. This job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. Shit. James, camera. This was supposed to be an accident. Fuckers hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean, the last? Like, last, last? Mm-hmm. Let's pull the echo right and get out of here. Damn. He really got cooked, didn't he? Well, I'm still gonna need a photo for identification. I mean, it could be him. Could doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. Mm. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I have an idea. And you won't like it. This is a federal case, James. And we're supposed to pull Green's Icarite, not someone's. Moving on to reconstruction. Seen this. What? Some kind of anomaly. Who cares? It's green, pull it right and let's go. The Icarites melted. 
So? That's his insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah, he's dead. What? Like, you mean final death dead? Well, just... I, I mean, fix it. Just reconstruct it or something. Just do something, James. Keep your voice down. You're disturbing adults at work. I'm moving on to reconstruction. Try and find the perpetrator. It's not our jurisdiction, James. I'm not looking to get shit-canned because you went off the rails again. For fuck's sake, unclench, will you? Just let me put the tree back together and we'll see what's what. Omega code 112358, suspected murder. The right side of the body is more heavily charred. The tree must have exploded after he'd been hanged. James, stop doing this. It wasn't just a fire. Find the cause and run.
That's what caused the explosion. It's getting more and more obvious why nobody wants to work with you. I'll look for any pre-explosion traces, then we're out of here. James, I wasn't born yesterday. You've said that before, and I don't believe you. Someone not only flooded the transformer, but also ripped out the cables. Okay, this is some kind of emblem? It's starting to get interesting. Someone carved this date long ago. What's up with the snake? Mm, check the encyclopedia. Someone tried to smash that glass before the explosion. Cracked it and left a handprint. Stop it. James, you've got to stop this. What? What's he doing? Oh, you're finally paying attention. Great. So... Now the question is, did Green try to crack open that plate with his own forehead, or did somebody else use Green's forehead like a ball-peen hammer? Why can't we see the killer in the reconstruction? He covered his tracks pretty damn skillfully. So someone was here. Fucking hell. What? You gonna tattle to the chief again? Would you just let that drop already? What's done is done. No point in picking at it. Holy fuck, Sarah. There's Brazen, and then there's... whatever you are. Ugh, oh, just get on with it, all right? Feeling sorry for yourself is a bad look. Shit. What happened? The fuse is just blue. What? Why? The reconstructor needs massive amounts of energy. Sometimes the limiter doesn't adjust to the environment and pop. Blue fuses. There you go. So I don't have to do everything myself after all, huh? A man could get used to this. I just shifted power from three different neighborhoods so you can keep playing detective. Don't make me regret it. Check something out for me, would you? I need to know about a drug called Prose of Life. Introduced in 2208. It's based on fluoxetine. An antidepressant. How long did Green get psychiatric treatment? Looks like he's officially been in therapy for 156 years. According to statistics, that's pretty much normal for people who've lived as long as he has. It'll be worth checking the file to see if he mentioned anything about a suicide. Probably some kind of relic. To the best of friends, always auspicious winds. Green. That asshole had friends. Hard to believe. I'm getting a bad head off this thing. I wonder which one's the best friend now. I wonder why a gift from Green is in his own home. Let's see what the patient has to say. to Green's blood type. He was fighting with someone. Or he cut himself as he jumped. 
Sarah, think outside of the box. I can come up with obvious ideas myself. from there. If he cut himself on the railing, there should be blood on it. Someone must have pushed him. No trace of blood on the railing. So he didn't cut himself here. This is weird. Green's fingerprints are on the railing. So he was leaning against it? Looks that way. They came from this side. They? Half of the reconstruction is inconsistent. Someone must have been messing with it. We don't have enough information to find the other one. How do you think this went down? Green gave up after the fight and did whatever the perpetrator told him to. I'm thinking he put the rope around his own neck and then destroyed his own Icarite. Well, in any case, Green didn't jump. Someone pushed him. Blood trail here. He must have gotten cut before the hanging. Do you have a UV lamp? I don't leave home without it. He was walking up these stairs. Unusual shape. He was lying here. He's talking to someone. Or like he's begging for mercy. Another trace of blood. Hit it with the UV lamp. Look at that. The tracks connect. I think he deserved what he got. I do. And it still wasn't enough. Shit. Sounds like you hated his guts. Oh, please. He's got something on his clothes. Some kind of chemical? Huh. The reconstructor's coming up goose eggs on its composition. Must be rare as shit, then. Stretches across the floor. I'll switch to UV. The tracks lead this way. Looks like Green was rummaging around the transformer.
cables are torn out. Same as the one around Green's neck. You think he did it? I think someone made him do it. exactly the way the perpetrator wanted it to. Seriously? You're repeating yourself. There's something here. James? <clears throat> I've lost visual. are on their way there, so consider this a heads up. If they find you, I don't fucking know you. Are you... you're serious? We've been friends for fucking decades and you're gonna hang me out to dry? How's the situation? They're coming. Time to clean up. Sarah, if we're gonna keep working together, you're gonna have to promise me something. What? I've been honest with you from the beginning, and I need you to never do anything behind my back again. We clear? James, okay, as long as you keep being honest with me, I've got your back, okay? From here on out. Then we've got a deal. Yes, now, come on, move before they bust us. Nobody will even know I was here. I'm gonna leave a mess after all. Nobody will even know I was here. Dead god on the flaming Mount Olympus. Time to go back to the underworld he cast us all into. In the gut of a body, not my own, I can feel this case is nothing but trouble and heartache. And even worse, it's personal. A lit cigar pressed against a wound that never heals. That's me. The second time I've seen Icarite completely melted. Just when I got a little better at forgetting the first one. Seventh floor, yet the thick stench of piss soaked streets still fills the air. Home. 
was your day? Excellent. Only one corpse. I'm glad to hear that. Due to the high level of air pollution, I recommend full body decontamination. As usual. How much time has passed? I feel like I'm taking them more and more often. get used to a face marked by someone else's mistakes. Though for some reason, it's much easier with the eyes. Once the life fades out of them, they can belong to anyone. space to fire up the evidence board. Sarah? How's the job going? To complete my report, I need to summarize the evidence. I need access to the system. You heard Chief Steiner. He wants it classified as a suicide and sent straight to him. We were supposed to put our cards on the table, so that's what I'm doing. I appreciate that, but we have one more problem. Do you think I don't know why the Chief put you on restricted duty? I read your wife's case file. Uh, forgive me for mentioning her, but it was the same kind of suicide. Sarah, listen to me very carefully. We're in this together, and it's a lot bigger than the Chief. Sooner or later, the report will make it to the top brass, and we'll both be fucked. Unless we consider all the circumstances in the report. We're in this together. Just give me access. Shut up. I have access, so I analyze, and I put the evidence on the board. Is that clear? As clear as day. Okay. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry for bringing your wife up like that. Look, let's not fight. 
Let's connect the dots one by one. If we agree with the conclusions, we move on. You'll agree with me sooner or later. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner you can write the report. <laughs> it's the spirit. I should clear up Sarah's doubts about the murder. First, I have to prove that somebody else was there besides Green. Then when Sarah takes the bait, I'll convince her about the rest. start somewhere. I was hoping for more enthusiasm. Not gonna happen. Ouch. Okay, we still have shit, but we can at least ask two questions. First, what's the actual cause of death? Second, who's the culprit and what's his motive? Are you saying you're getting involved? I've already changed my mind. Are you the same with guys? I won't correct you on everything you just said that was wrong. Besides, I'm looking for more information about the evidence. But seriously, no more jokes. We need more than that. The explosion. And the fire. We need more than that. I found some interesting tidbits. Please share. Only with friends. But I'll make an exception for you. Apparently, he had a heavy foot. He was just showing off to a girl. If I had such a fancy car, I wouldn't need a girl for anything. What a weird shit. Let me guess. Some of these substances don't show up in the system. Yeah. How did you know? I'd say we're looking at an old-school cover-up. No. I don't think so. No. I mean, that would be... What? Unethical? If that says what I think it says, we're getting somewhere. This is no proof. What? But a very solid hypothesis. <sighs> I agree. Let's move on. Perpetrator administered the poison. Hey, we can officially call it a poisoning now. Great. You want to open some champagne? Hang on. Do you actually have some champagne? Sure. Old basement full. Vintage from the mortal age. James, this is fun, and I'd play three more games of solitaire, but it won't prove anything. What else do you need? More facts, or it's a waste of effort.
We need to talk seriously. Is this some lame engagement joke? What? No, it's, it's not like that. I, I just have something for you. If it is, however, some stupid joke, I will get fucking mental on you. There is one more piece of evidence. Sorry? Why don't I know about it? It's not in the archive. Because it's not a photo. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Tell me you're joking. I'm begging you. It turns out I think it is indispensable. You took physical evidence from the crime scene? <sighs> They'll put us in jail for this! Oh, shit. I take it back. I'd rather have the engagement ring. It's beautiful. A vial of strange liquid. Probably poison. This creepy voodoo symbol on it makes it more mysterious. More importantly, the material of the vial might retain fingerprints. What do you think? Show me. If you have any more stolen evidence up your ass, you better get it out now, before you hurt yourself. Not this time. Consult your doctor. There's even a term for it. Kleptomania. Symptoms include paying for it someday. Hard to believe it's been almost 100 years. Your herm code? 97 fucking 6. Around Liberty Island, huh? None of your business. Everything was in Sarah's hands now. Which was neat, since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the meantime, please send that damn report. What about evidence analysis? You got evidence illegally, and you want to put it in an official report? I'll send it as is. Maybe we'll find something else later. Or we can just pretend none of this ever happened. A complicated and unfortunate accident in which Icarite... Damn it, what am I doing? A specific fraud theory that doesn't quite... Wait. Enough. Numerous clues indicate the involvement of third parties. Suicide or accident is excluded. Nobody sticks their head outside anymore. As if they wanted to believe this ugly world does not really exist. Huddled in their little flats over the few cents they managed to save towards a new body. Never asking themselves whether the survival instinct makes the urban rats happier, or is this only the selfish genes? Free riding on the suffering of subsequent generations, other alien forces exploiting their drive towards self-preservation, their desperate struggle to stay alive a little longer. Desperate struggle that even Green has eventually lost. The person who whacked him was no ordinary citizen either. No way. James, are you in front of the board? No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's definitely poison, but that's not all. There was a fragment of a print on it. I managed to reconstruct it and search the database. So, who does the print belong to? It's a damn big fish. Slippery, too. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't want to say right now. Somebody on the street might overhear. I sent you everything by snail mail. Let me know as soon as you get it. Deja vu.
He signed as soon as the bill landed on his desk. The president is nothing but a pen in the hands of corrupt politicians. Did you hear? He signed it. Deadly poison is atropine. Okay, great. It was Kovalev's fingerprint on the murder weapon, huh? I knew it. You still think we can't clear this one? I wouldn't start celebrating yet. We'll never get to him. He basically never steps outside Icarus. But you do believe this is a murder now? Well, yes. But... Special announcement. Engine problems have been reported aboard Icarus, which is currently flying over Brooklyn. We ask residents of the borough to stay at home and shelter in place. There is no need to worry. Insurance for bodily injuries will be fully applicable. James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Damn, are you that close to it? Are you all right? The news feed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah. We can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a go- No, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! The bar was named Icarus and met its end fittingly. I didn't have time to savor the irony. An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. Are you hearing this? Fire department on site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. All you sons of bitches in Brooklyn, hold your positions. And get the crowd pushed back before it comes down on top of them. Sarah, mute this channel. What? You allergic to orders? Yes, I am. for the gravity to do the killing. Swell. I prefer to interrogate corpses. Their deaths tell me more than their lies would. James, evacuate whoever you can and get the fuck out of there. Little late for that. See for yourself. Oh shit. What the fuck? Good question. Help me identify Kovalev. But his corpse will open right up if we ask it all nice like. Recognize it? Doesn't match the one on file. Keep looking. This should shed some light on the matter. Take these pictures. How about this one? That's not him either. Kovalev is fatter. Maybe this one? No resemblance whatsoever. Shit, I can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here, full stop. Understand? Okay. Sure. Fuck. Sure everyone here can afford 
Fuck them. James, don't even think... We have to reconstruct the lock. Fuck. It's as far back as it'll go. So we don't know what caused the explosion? Not yet. James, if Kovalev finds out... This whole place is about to fall apart and take Kovalev's secrets with it. I'm not about to let that bastard get away from me again. Hey, if you fall, I'll say you acted alone. I'm fucking serious. Fine. Let's get to work. Ugh, what a horrible way to die. He's gonna have such a phobia. Just the sight of a match will make him piss himself. And he'll never light a cigar again. John Park? The third one in the photo with Green. The main shareholder of Demmer? <sighs> Fucking Demmer. Ribs completely crushed. Multiple minor injuries. Covered in some kind of flammable shit. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Intense heat set him on fire. Shit. The poor bastard really suffered. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Especially for people who eat Demmer food. Can you find the source of the explosion? As long as this shit glows under UV light, yeah, I think so. last was in this lounge. Time to check on Park's friends. What was... hung? What'd you say? Nothing. Just that we better get a move on. Martin Roy. The owner of the New York Liberation Stadium? Shit. He seemed like a decent guy. You knew him? Nah, not really. He shook my hand a few times in the old life, that's all. A scarf? I saw this pattern somewhere. You know, from the photo? From a speed camera? Uh, it's a scarf. But... Yes, indeed. Um, Jane Salma had a similar one. Similar? Identical? Uh-huh. But, uh, it's just a scarf. Besides, there's... there's no sign of Salma's presence? No. Not yet.
cleared. I can't read the Icarite. Destroyed? It doesn't look that way. I just can't access it. Check it. Expensive bodies don't usually have those. Could have been a recent purchase, maybe. Just hadn't gotten around to removing the serial number yet. Oh, weird. It's unregistered, but the body was bought by Phalanx for. Holy shit! For four million bucks? Way too pricey for a bodyguard. Sarah, meet Mr. Miller. You think that's the owner of the company? Not only that. Arms dealer, smuggler. Don't bother looking in the system. You won't find anything. This asshole works for the government. Got some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? Looks like the law on lowering the age of free subscription is just the beginning. What? They want to make it even lower? Add tons of taxes. I'd say it's a long term plan. Have they gone fucking insane? They can't do that. Their plans will have to wait. It'll be years before they're back on their feet after the transplant, especially if they go down with this airship. Are you going to download their Icarites? Uh, even if I wanted to, I don't have time for that. <sighs> right. Well, in any case, the longer the plan takes to get started, the better it'll be for the rest of us. Fuckers. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. Got that right. His bar. Traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. Same one that set Park on fire. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Leading like a faucet. Species. I'll figure out where the shots came from. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old-fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier.
attacker shot from the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Got a dead guy here who'd make a decent suspect. He's great at playing a dead guy. Really in character. The caliber matches the gun fired. Is it him? He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. to a user named Edmund Christo Basmond. That doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, I didn't figure it would. He works for Phalanx. <laughs> Miller's livestock. He fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev. guard shooting at Kovalev. Good question. Something provoked him. He must have been startled to have such shitty aim. Straight in the Icarite. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is, who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. What do you think? A special, skewered asshole. Get it? Get what? He was impaled. Sign. The ads in the city are deadly effective. Ugh, James, I'm begging you. He's got something on his neck. Check it out for me. It's Tom, huh, one of ours. Agent from the department. How the fuck did he get in here? Jealous? Yeah. visible under UV. Thanks, detective. What do you make of this wound? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. The blood trail leads all the way to the lounges. It must have come from there. I 
kid in the air. And a hard landing. jumped from. The whole couch is fucked up. Is this more of the undercover's blood? Nah, it would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me. No data available. Shit. That's gotta be some big fish. I'll take photos. We'll identify them later. Nail them right through the head. What is that? A brand name? Could be. Or maybe somebody's initials. Damaged. Someone shot through the suitcase lock. I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Turned the lounges into Swiss cheese. Into what? People used to talk like that. I heard in some movie. They sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until the spray of bullets caught them flat-footed. He managed to scram. Agile body. Fast reaction time. Grade B. Maybe even A. Where did he get the money for that? Bullet turned his brain to mush. It'll take years to reconstruct his Icarite. James, can you get into the suitcase? Okay. Lock works. Let's see. At least we know where he got the money for that hot rod body. You've never been tempted to. No, no! Put it down! Yeah, yeah. Uh, just ask him. Why is our agent neck deep in this? What's his fucking deal? Then why don't we report him to the chief? What do you think? I don't know. I mean, yes, at some point. But this ban on entering Icarus, the agent's corpse inside. One day with me and you're already doubting the department. No, not so much a doubt as I want to put everything together first. I'm so proud of you. I don't think we'll get any more out of the Swiss cheese lounge. Let's move on. How can we connect it all? Ballistics points to Kovalev opening fire on the guests. I'll check around the bar again.
First he took out Green, then he got to the rest of his gang. Turned against his own. It started with Kovalev. First, he served a cocktail he'd whipped up himself. He treated the next guests with a hail of bullets. And finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Winno Edmundo. Kovalev gave as good as he got. Finished off the crooked UC. It's all just so unnecessary. Necessary or not, in the end, the neon got him. He got hit hard. We're lucky. You know what they say. Follow the trail of blood. Nobody says that. Right. Time to break out the UV lamp. We've got a lead. The trail leads to this guy. We've got Kovalev's prints on the hand with the knife. It wasn't just his drinks that had a kick. Who's the knifer? Zikarite's cut. I'll check the blood. Another one of Miller's bodyguards. Seriously, where does he get these guys? Nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get reflexes like that just from a body. It takes training. Years of it. I'd also say he had to use the knife. Because I think by then he'd lost his gun. Kovalev off balance. He dropped something. This is something new. You think he blew himself up? Nah, I doubt it. did he have? And we're following the trail of blood. Again. You know, like they say you're supposed to. Uh, I can't. like this job. Why didn't he blow himself up sooner? Good question. Here, you got hit again. Kovalev got shot a few times. He kept going. The reconstruction's complete. Get the safe. Why did he want to blow himself up here? You already have all the data. Open the fucking safe before it all collapses. Roger that. The safe should work again.
For real scotch? Are you crazy? Go! Rest in peace. It's a card. There's something on it, but without any data. You're out of time. Take what you have to take and run. Wait, there's something else there. There's no time. See this? Green rope to Kovalev. Oh, I see. Now, do you want to be scraped off the pavement? Right. I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Could Green and Kovalev have been working together? And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up in this particular place? What was he hoping to accomplish? Sarah, are you there? Who would have thought that the fly that was buzzing over Green's corpse would get stuck on Icarus? Can't find a window to fly out of. Who's this? The question is, what can I do for you? And how much can I help you understand? Buzz yourself around the ripest corpse. The one you missed. You'll need to be more precise. There are several corpses here. Close to Kovalev. Close enough to take him out with an explosion. Time could be the net the bastard was trying to trap me in. I had to act fast. Why was Kovalev so determined to kill this guy? He almost got away, didn't he? Do you recognize him? Wait a minute. George Boyle, CTC director. From the rotten family that invented the Icarite. His signature was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. You think it's justice to desecrate an Icarite and a corpse? Yes. If you shoot him through a Zikarite, he'll suffer. And more importantly, no more body taxes. It will take months, maybe years, before he gets back on his feet. You gave time to people who really need it. <laughs> my not so great body on a great hand and damn was I right instead of dead I was ahead for once and ready to break the case of the century hey chief did 
You hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything. Especially not from you. Because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? And we're not talking now, either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. Case. There's an old saying, if you can't tell what's going on, it's about money. Steiner's a decent enough guy, but everyone in the city has a price. No doubt about it, this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. So many victims. Who's really behind it all? I don't know his name, but I can already tell what kind of man he is. Some depraved bastard, driven with gold. So disconnected from the rest of humanity, he thinks he can kill whoever he wants, whenever he feels like it. I try to stop thinking about it. Try to back away, shut it down, for one simple reason. Much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease, something festering, somewhere deep down. Underneath the routine of concrete and steel. Below the predatory grin of the neon lights, an infection has set in. It's like... Like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat. Hard about to crack open. Scream locked in my throat. spins out of control and flies apart. No matter how hard I try to keep it together. professional. He'll fix any machine you bring him, as long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll take it out of Zed's hide later. All this risk for a fucking piece of plastic. 
can't even tell what it's for. Just you and me. Suppose I could have borrowed something from Icarus. Oh well. Too late now. in just a moment, in an exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Are you listening to the radio? It's the middle of the night. Are you drinking again? Relax. I'm on autopilot. You or the car? <sighs> Did you hear? Icarus is already in the news. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. Uh, they'll get over it. It's just another tax. Just another tax. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I probably wouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. How can they? Everyone has their own motive. Maybe the budget's collapsing or something pile of shit, not a budget. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing. Are there any moral boundaries left? <laughs> every boundary if we live long enough everybody makes a bad choice sooner or later the kind that leads to another and then another nobody stays on the straight and narrow forever it's bullshit you don't believe that otherwise the world is meaningless well eternal life sounds beautiful too until you realize you'll be busting ass for minimum wage until the end times right you seriously think people are fundamentally evil all I know is there are too many temptations in our way. And if we live long enough, we trip on one. <laughs> this isn't just nihilism. It's doom gibberish. But hey, you're entitled to your opinion, whatever it might be. James, can I ask you something personal? We'll see. Do you believe in life after death? The real one? And I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. Sure I do. 
Rachel believes it too. I'm sorry. I forgot. I overstepped. R relax. Nothing happened. What if you could choose? The bank or death? Oh, shit. The bank. There's always a chance the NYPD will unfreeze me. Then they'll put me in debt and make me pay it back. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> Bloody hell. James? James, what's going on? Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Uh, yeah. I'm an exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. I can handle it. Think people can swap bodies indefinitely. Well, the longest living guy turns 305 this year, and he's doing great. The city is co-funding his birthday. You can go ask him. Seriously, it's all about the money. The more we have, the longer we live. A capitalist's wet dream turned out to be our destiny. So fucking great. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? Apparently, we're unaware during the transfer, but... Damn, I remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth, my partner, said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. That's probably nothing unusual. Don't worry about that. Attention! Vehicle in a drift prohibited zone! Hands up! What are you holding? Seriously? Don't you have anything better to do? I advise you to cooperate. What's your name? On the job for fuck's sake. You will be held responsible for making false statements. So tell the fucking truth. What are you doing here? I'm resting after I fucked up half the city with a train. Two weeks ago? Maybe you heard about it. I have his data. James Cara. Badge number 98. War. He's Department of Mortality, but not active in the system. Holy shit. It really is that psycho from the train. One last time. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? I had to take an extra job. Like everybody else in the department. You know how it is. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? Good question. Shit, he was already like this when I picked it up at the workshop. Got it from Zed. You guys know him? Old bastard gave me a voucher for a car wash. Good luck finding one open at this hour. Shit! Bolo for a 99 Bluebird! Hands in the air! Don't move! Tow the car right now!
they're gonna take us both in. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll spill. Yes, I was on the Icarus, but they threw me off the case. Chief Steiner himself gave the- James, you stupid Will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse. We're placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Attention all nearby units. Burglary in process at the jewelers. Quarter of 11 to 58, 4117. Repeat, all nearby units. Staff, repeat, burglary in progress. Quarter of 11 to 58, 4117. Ah, fuck this guy. Let's go. saving my ass. One thing, though. Seriously? <laughs> I panicked. <sighs> okay, James. I'm no expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. I believe in signs. I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Seriously? Shit, I owe you an apology. Didn't look at my watch. James, I know you have your demons. I've read your file, but you got to learn to control them. I understand. I know it's got to be difficult for you. But you know the saying? The sleep of reason produces monsters. Put the vodka away and rest. It will help. Yeah, rest doesn't work for me. Besides, it's a title, not a saying. What? The sleep of reason produces monsters. It's the title of an old drawing. I saw the hologram. A guy falls asleep with his head on the desk. There are boogeymen and bats swirling around him. Like they're coming for him. Almost hear the flutter of their wings. It was uh, Goya, I think. Oh, suddenly, you know art. Rachel knew art. She liked this place too. Used to stop here sometimes when I picked her up from work. It's time to go back, James. Please take care of yourself. Waking Sarah up for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. Anyway, it was a nice contrast with all these conversations that leave me hung over even when I don't drink. I shouldn't be driving like that. 
this. for another year that your life matters. Shit. I have to go home. The level of contamination of the shell is alarmingly above all norms. I know. I know. The synchronization test will take place soon. Please do not leave the apartment for the next 24 hours. <laughs> already know who the murderer is? How did I? Hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Yes, but he's trying. And when will you cuff me? You want me to cuff you? Don't you want to? If I don't get up from this couch and grab my drugs, I'll die. Drugs should be in the kitchen, or the restroom, maybe upstairs. Damn, empty. I think I had- In ancient cultures, the Moirai were an allegory of destiny. They represented the brutal laws that governed the world, and only exceptional mortals could gently influence them. No. That sounds weak. Now, there's nothing in this one either. I won't get rid of this hologram unless you take me there. Copy that. I really would love to go there. You look terrible lately. Try to smile a little, just a little bit.
us the slightest chance. Please tell us to stay at home. <laughs> Good luck with that. Attention, the sync test is ready. Immediately approach the Hestia module. Logged. James, Kara, welcome back. I'm starting the synchro test. Please take a deep breath and imagine a safe space. Feel the ground under your feet. Excellent. Very literally, but perfect. Please select a seat. Our own death is a difficult experience that we naturally repress from consciousness. In order to enable smooth functioning in the new body, we need to remember the last moments of our lives and... And together face the trauma of the last death. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Before we get to the point, please recall the first death. It was just an injury. I just changed my body. Shell went to the Hall of Fame. It looks pretty good there. Please start calibration process. Thank you. Let's go to the memories. It's time to confront them. Proceed to the next stage. The key to synchronization is the ability to put the past into perspective. Please try to do this. Continue. A new body? A new chapter in life? I had no choice. I didn't synchronize with the new shell like I did with my original. Positive rate threshold is 80%. For you. Sports, a fraction of every percent. Excellent. You found a new purpose in life. Finding yourself in a new reality is a huge challenge. Turns out I have a knack for this job. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the last death event. It seems that the complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. Synchronization is a process, not an act. 
try to isolate minor events using all your senses. Or stop and extend the recovery period. No. Uh, I'll remember. I'll get it from my memory. Some shine, grease, burn, and... Excellent. Um, seriously? the train. My ears were ringing and... Fuck! I don't remember. What about Seth and the one you were chasing? Can you focus on them? I'll try. Lousy job. He knew the risks. I was his partner. He relied on me. Unstable simulation. We'd better stop for today. All right? Now? When do I get a chance to pass the damn test? I won't let this go. I can't. I'll finish it, and I'll be back where I belong. Attention. Dynamic element detected. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. And staying home. Your mental state is very strained and you need time to recuperate. How long until I'm back to work? From nine to twelve months. Estimates may change. Fuck! Sarah, I fucked up. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm admitting guilt. What? What happened? Is everything all right? What have you done? I just I can't do anything. I have no chance to go back. James. No. I'll finish the case. I won't leave it like this, but I won't drag you down with me. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all traces. I can't drag everyone down all the time. I didn't deserve it. Phew. Wow, that's very kind of you. Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it like that? I'll leave you with it? I have a few leads to discuss. Really? You think you're the only person in this town who wants to know what's going on? Let's get busy then. Start. 
Since the Zeppelin crashing into the building right after Green's death is more than just a lucky break. Lucky? For us, definitely not for them. You know exactly what I mean. Let's start with the connection between the Green case and the Icarus shooting. Sarah, you have access to the CTC registers. Just checked. Kovalev Zikarite never made it there. Which means that this is another... This is another final death. They both left this world, and they left behind quite a mess. Do you think they managed to carry out the plan from Green's letter? All we know is they gave their lives for it. Could anyone here know Green and Kovalev were up to something? Damned good question. Let's check. By what we saw in the Icarus reconstruction, Phalanx really does have quite a rep. As the Chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green's death. Just what was he looking for here? Sarah, this guy also built Green's building, right? Built it? I mean, he added more floors to it. I don't think anyone builds buildings from scratch. I still did that in my day. Let's follow this. Holy shit. So Dean was buying the blueprints for Green's apartment from Colette. And Colette didn't know about Green's death. And that order not to board Icarus. You think Dean was following the Chief's orders? We can't rule out that Dean was working for someone else. Like who? And what the hell do Green's plans have to do with it? Let's focus on the second question. You think we missed something at Green's? Everything points to that. As long as everyone's focused on the riot now, the apartment should be empty. Great. Let's finish what we started. Diagnostics complete. Repair cost and fine, $938. Ah, oh, fuck you. And don't wait for me with dinner. After our little nightly talk, I knew I wasn't alone in all this. Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason, which was what I needed at times, and which could be switched off at other times, and unlike other such voices, without grabbing a bottle. James, should I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on, turn on the camera. Stand back, the Fed secured the entrance. Could you? I'm on it. You get excited when you do something illegal. I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. I'd like to see your file. <laughs> I erased it. Good luck with that. I have my ways. Ready. Everything ends where it begins. You watch too many movies. So what are we looking for? A red X. Okay. Any ideas? The 
fucking safe. Did they just clean it out? Are you sure it's this safe? See something else? Nothing. Empty. Just like my account. Get out. Can you check what they took? You know, it's not like I didn't break the law this week, so I'll see. Wait. James. It's not about the safe. You just said the complete opposite. I changed my mind. They took everything out. What do you want us to do? X-ray it? Great idea. <sighs> Why am I saying anything? lead somewhere probably to the washing machine over there's some interference can you repeat hello yes the storm's coming the electronics are freaking out w where do they lead what what to the electricity Ugh, never mind why such a large generator for such a small safe this isn't a generator wall is a meter from the safe. This box could lift several tons. Maybe it's pumping gel into the roots. Although, it doesn't look connected. What next? We have a card. Bingo! The first rich dude wall safe of my career. <laughs> you should be a thief. I'm building my resume. <laughs> nice to see you develop. Hey, fuck you. This is my idea. Don't push it. Victim. Just more questions. Brian Theodore Coven. What are you doing here? If it wasn't for his donations, orphanages in the city would disappear. Formal dress. A meeting? With a murderer? With Green? Let's check where you came from, Coven. Governor. Sans pants. Prestigious guest list. Chris Everson. Even my idiot neighbor has a bumper sticker. Wonder what he thinks about him and the law now. Uh... 
Anna Turner. Used to be a sports writer. We had some interesting interviews when my team was winning. Then she got into politics and became editor of the whole paper. You had your last deadline. He was standing under it. I'll pick him up and find out who it is. Maybe I can lift the chandelier. the wires. Okay. Why did he fall? And where's the killer? What did you do to deserve your mask? Maybe you actually wore it every day. Shot. Needs a closer look. screens. Make that god. There's no movie studio that doesn't kiss his ring. Or maybe a little lower. He influences more people than you think. What is this? Everybody lies. They learn to live a lie. Okay, what happened here? Where's the damn killer? How did they die? Losing your nerve. Never mind. He was standing here before the chandelier fell on his head. Who brings a gun to a fancy party? Fucking lack of culture. Eight millimeter. Sitting here with a loaded gun? Think twice before inviting a paranoia case. The shootout started. You probably didn't consider that. You didn't shoot that fucking thing down on your own head. Are you sure? He shot the killer. Is that. How are you feeling? Better every minute. He aimed toward the piano. Weird. The trail ends here. Lots of glass under your feet and nothing around. The killer had plenty of time to cover all traces. By a truck. Lagoyevich, journalistic scum. Why is so much glass? Any complaints? Fuck no. Glass, you, blood. Every piece brings me closer to you. his spot. Shoe print? Maybe he ran? Where was the killer? Why are you keeping this company? I'm asking the questions this time. Sorry, it's too late. Government critics sitting with a propagandist. Yeah, burn it all. Shit. Not enough data. I still don't know what this asshole was doing. Did you 
run away? Why in this direction? It doesn't make sense. It's too rich for my blood. the guy with it? I can respect that. Where were you sitting? Maybe the glass shards will show me. Bingo. So you were sitting here. the middle of it all. Well, better to do something than nothing at all in a situation like that. Although, as you can see, this is no guarantee of success. And he was done running. He fell limply. Maybe he died in flight. Something or someone stopped him. He shot at Blagojevich. Low. Maybe Blagojevich saw Cadis and liked both their odds better. Did you feel a cold sweat on your back? It would take more than that. Right. You were lucky with that chandelier shot anyway. Did you do this? Someone's being paranoid here. It's just fucking wiring. Which gets in the way of my work. Need more light. Who's Sarah? What? You mumbled her name when you were lying on the ground. I don't know. I was delirious. Misery loves come. High voltage. It must be powering something big. Now, let's see what happens when we connect this contraption. Regular closet like the rest of us. This reminds me of something. I borrowed one from Icarus. <laughs> less and less pleasant memories. Now I know where the damn glass came from. I thought nothing could surprise me today. Are these the ones I saw in holograms? Let's start with the photos. I don't know you. They slaughtered him and bled him for fun. Is it an Icarite? No. It's impossible. It must be some kind of imitation. Are you sure? It's time for pictures of your friend. Senator Patricia Terrence. Oh, this is rich. They've been trying to make her out to be a terrorist for decades because she wanted to change the world. It turns out that they're all on one payroll. The wound looks burnt. So 
someone was shooting at close range? Blood trail. And anything else? How did it all start? Was she the one who murdered him? Let's start with who the hell that guy is. You know that by solving this case, you're helping cover it up. Aren't you tired of these games? What's your point? I want to help you. Sure, because you're such a noble guy, right? On Icarus, you stood on the right side. I thought you might be worth the risk. How fucking kind of you. Drake Star? I thought he was using a different body. The actor and the senator's husband. They've always been inseparable. He looks like a victim, but I wouldn't go all in on that. There can be ecstasy in death. It's, uh, an expensive fetish. Nine millimeter, same assailant. Looks like the victim bled out before he got shot. Maybe the killer lost his shit. Lots of moving targets. He had to be in a rush. He could have left additional bullet marks. That kind of trail could help me figure out where he was firing from. I went straight through. Another casualty of your sick shit. Imitation made from ego marble. I admire all forms of art, especially when it helps to establish a shooting position. Who are you? Aspiring liaison. How am I doing? Am I as good as that Sarah of yours? Suddenly a shooter appears and takes out our star. It looks like he almost bled out before you shot him. Are you suggesting there was more than one killer? Unlike the rest, this one was murdered voluntarily. However fucked up that sounds. Different blood types. Presumably. The Senator had a pleasurable time. She was bleeding like hell. Is dead. Smart move. Was she trying to escape? She was always ready to fight. That's why people believed in her. Was she waiting for her moment? Drake had type O negative blood. 
This is a different type. She surprised you? struggle, but he had the upper hand. A nine millimeter beats a piece of steel. She crawled away. Didn't you notice? Something else catch your attention? Blindly at Cadis. She almost gets you. I guess you're on her side. I can tell you that if she got you, she'd have my vote. Broken ribs. You crushed her when you fell on her. And she still didn't give up. You underestimate me. At least I understand the low position you shot Blagojevich from. And remember. Kata shot in this direction. Good to know that not everything goes your way. It's going great. Trust me. So you scurried away like a cockroach. A bullet from a revolver. Probably Cadis's. I wonder how that got here. They almost got you. You had to find a way. And you did. Real fancy. You were lucky as fuck. Don't underestimate me. I wouldn't dare. How long have you been planning to kill that chandelier? Respect where it's due. Also a really good shot. You made it. But I'd like to see your face after that. Your real face. Covered in blood and drool, twisted in fear. I think it was any different than yours when you came in here. You're always watching me, aren't you? Monitoring? You watching me with cameras? The holograms. Somehow they were recorded. These holograms must be stored somewhere. There must be some tapes here. But where? Everyone here knows each other.
Fuck. <clears throat> Not now. It's so close. Olympus comes with a pocket Hades, a frozen hell where people pay the price for the gods' eternal hangover. Fucking Icarite transmitter. You want to try it out? Fuck you. I'm not like them. should belong to an actor with his throat slit. The youngest bodies possible. No certificates. Take a right in this one. Age 21. There's some unknown kid. The former owner of the stabbed body. They're all at the first subscription age. If they didn't pay it, they could lose their bodies. But Icarites... Why isn't anyone looking for them? Orphanages. That's why Green and Coven funded them so generously. Only until they turned 21, of course. Motherfuckers. Green was probably using the recordings for blackmail. Focus on you. You have your five fucking minutes of fame. I warn you that I may disappoint you. Wait, what? This is Green. Senator. Attacking his back. He's the one killing them all. It doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense to me. Did you force him to do it? How the fuck did you do that? What did you have on him? That's your job. I don't want to get overly involved. I'm not your cheap little slum secretary, Sarah Kai. What? How the fuck did you get her full name? Did you think you're the only one I spend time with? Sarah? You there? Fuck. I've restored the power. That should work. <laughs> Take you apart piece by piece. Don't keep me waiting. The silence 
in my earpiece was even more overwhelming than my own stupidity. When I was gallivanting in hell, the murderer emerged from there to get Sarah. How could I let myself be tricked like this? below poverty line, if not for the fact that I've crossed the poverty line a hundred levels up. Somehow I have to find her. I don't even have a bar here. Focus, James. Sarah needs electricity, and lots of it. These converters look new. Let's see. come out of the converter. Sarah, where are you? Look here, you can smell the deadly stench of the slums. How can you live here? Electric current powers up the antenna. It must be operational. Sarah needs to communicate somehow. I need to get a closer look.
might be an easy target. Give it up! You're trapped! That's funny! You're the one bleeding! Get one fucking chance! One! Great! Just, Just show, show yourself! yourself. Drop your weapon and get out! I'm counting to three! One! Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a department officer. You're gonna end up in the bank, you cunt! Oh shit. Sarah? How about letting me know you're dropping by next time? Sure thing. Uh, it's just a scratch. You can't hit anything in this body. Well, lucky us. Sunken face, bloodshot eyes like a junkie. James, you know how strung out you look? Me? You looked in the mirror lately. How'd you find me? You know I'm a detective, right? I didn't think anyone would bother trying to find me. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay still. Why did you come here? When we lost contact, I thought he got you. So that's why you busted in here like a psycho on a hunch? A little more than a hunch. Meaning? I have some questions too. One, actually. You should be in your first shell. The comfortable and efficient one. What have you gotten yourself into? And you're smoking too. Someone's fallen into bad company. This body must have been through half a century of addiction. It'll drop dead before I get used to it. You're in your 30s, right? 29. <sighs> My bad. My family thinks I'm away. I got the best synthesizer, remote work equipment. I didn't have to explain myself to anyone. And then fucking James Kara had to waltz in here and ruin everything. I'm good at that. So what have you gotten yourself into? It's a long story. Complicated. Good thing I'm a professional at complicated stories. Talk. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I. I did something sketchy, but otherwise. Just spill it already. Fine. You want it? Here it is. I rented my body on the black market. You, the body department liaison. Oh, look who's holier than fuck. After an Icarite transplant, especially an illegal one, some can be lost. That one's the most valuable. <sighs> one night, when the acid rain was bad, Taylor and I hit upstairs where you came in. Back 
done, it was just a two by three foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. And instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. Something flashed in the pile of rubble, so we started digging. And we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but it looked valuable. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. Then what? found out there used to be a museum here. So we dug more, day after day, though our hands were bloody. We kept in for normal people, a portrait of misery, desperation. But for Taylor, we were adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Would you believe we, we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? This is taking a while. Almost five years, but it was our livelihood. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt, but we felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. Or anything. I remember exactly when she tricked me, because it was when I turned 21. First subscription. And Taylor paid for it for me. She did it behind my fucking back. Bitch. She only thought of others. Never herself. Selfless to a fault. After a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke. There was no one to help her. She wound up in the bank body went to auction. And that's why I have to get her out. No matter what it takes. You get it now? anywhere anything higher octane I'll pour us something or you can also help yourself to ambrosia in the bedroom One room, the bedroom, is totally secure. It's a slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. Well, not so easy with me, right? Would you rather end up reconstructing the Icarite? No, they probably wouldn't bother trying to save me at this point. What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. I had a bit of a head start thanks to my sports career, but it didn't come out of nowhere either. From a previous life, I earned it. Mmm, you must have had a hard time. Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... 
Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never gonna be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Do you know who it was? Which one of us came for Taylor? It was hard to resist the temptation to check it out. Wanna get some revenge? He was so ordinary. A regular agent. To really get justice, I'd have to get revenge on this whole sick fucking system. Then how about we get revenge on this whole sick fucking system? Like that's possible. What if it was? Wait, what kind of bullshit is that? Are you accusing me of something? Just curious. Bottoms up. Honesty. I think we're gonna need it. Okay. Ah, great. What's our poison? The slum's chief export. Apart from bodies. Moonshine. Nice. The worse the neighborhood, the better the hooch. What are you renting the body for? A surrogate. For some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Salma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything. Even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. Are you fucking nuts? I'm risking everything for you, shithead. Do you understand that? The whole world doesn't revolve around you. I don't think the whole world. So trust me, like I trusted you. All right, so you rented your body. This one. On. Salma said it was recycled. <sighs> Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. Scan the shell and check. There's no need, really. Let's not. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You need to see the big picture of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? It's not sleep when you're in the bank. It's nothingness. You don't feel anything. Like transferring in CTC? I remember what you said. And you remember that I'd still choose the bank? James, I have to save her! Fuck! You understand? I can't tell good from bad. Especially in this fucked up world. But if something, someone matters to you, you fight. Screw the cost. Well, thanks, I guess. Do you know what I did to see Rachel again? Fucking anything. Thanks for being straight with me. Press your finger. I can handle it. Sarah, we need to start investigating. Just a minute. 
Not so fast. One more question. A basic one. Yeah? Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? I told you. I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm-hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. Do it the old way, then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Better buckle up. <sighs> I can't believe all this evidence. You were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? How do you deal with that kind of desynchro? And how do you deal with it? I don't know if I'm the best example. James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's pretty unusual. Upload. of money. Yeah, they had plenty of it. There had to be another reason. These are the only people who can deal with the chaos in this city? Am I? No. But I think that's what Green is trying to tell us. Do you buy it? Well, this motherfucker knew corruption and power like no one else. There may be no evidence that they made a transfer of consciousness at the time of the incident, but his behavior... I know. It's damn suspicious. Let's just put it together piece by piece. Okay, whether it was Green's will or someone else was pulling the strings, why did Green have to die? I see at least two, uh, no, three possibilities. Can you be more specific, Miss Detective? I'm throwing them in. Like I said, I have at least three hypotheses. Yes, ma'am. Wasn't it more profitable to keep him alive? The whole thing may simply have been about tearing the city apart. Since the most influential players are more or less dead, their seats are up for grabs. It would take years for his competitor to grow in political power. True. You can't just grab someone off the street for a position like that. Something like that. I don't know, but we need to figure out who's pulling the strings in all of this. And you? Why'd you become a cop?
Work well under pressure, resistant to stress, ability to assess situations quickly. Only the commander instead of a coach, and the field's a bit bigger. And that's all? I believed in justice. And shit like that. But you don't anymore? As much as ever. I'm just not looking for it in the department. Copy that. Okay. Let's try to draw some conclusions. Honestly, I see two main possibilities. Or we're just seeing a small part of a bigger plan. By someone who's always two steps ahead of us. Or Green's plan played out with Kovalev's help. Mm-hmm. How do you figure? Oh, fuck. I don't know. He has access to some advanced tech. He managed to make contact with you in the Red Room. He knew everything that happened. Like he was in Green's head. I, I thought Green just committed suicide. But now I'm having a tough time buying that. Sorry. I've got a lot of thoughts. What do you think? Who's behind all this? Murderer or Green? The more important the decision, the less certain. We're out of time for mistakes. He's a murderer. Green's death wouldn't make sense. He must have been influencing for a long time until he finally got him to shoot the other deviants. Damn influential deviants. He took another harvest on Icarus. And if he's aiming to paralyze the city, to create chaos. So, what's his next step? The motherfucker leaves no trace. The trail's cold. Why haven't we heard of him before? He's a pro, after all. Hmm. Criminals are still in their learning curve when they do their first crimes. They leave more traces behind. I'll check similar poisoning cases in recent years. No. Poison may have been removed from reports. Check the final death. Oh, I think I have something. Two weeks. No. Shit. I was wrong. Sarah, rewind. No, you can't touch your own case, or reconstruct it, or explain it. You can't defend yourself. I'm the only one who can. Oh, the fucking savior of the world. Can't you let go just this once? You know the answer. Damn you. Hang on. I have to... What's this? A new earpiece. This one shouldn't be so easy to spot. Ah, thanks. Looking in the mirror at yourself, sometimes the scariest thing imaginable. But it was time to face myself on my own, without dragging anyone else down. Don't go. 
This is no ordinary schmuck who slings packages in the street. I just entered the initials and Hestia asked, am I satisfied with my work? They're calling from the top about it. This will end worse than usual. I'll lean on him and get something. I'll find out what happened. Fine. But what if you don't? I will. Whatever it takes. <laughs> statement is that there are only two kinds of medicine that work, those with an awful taste, and narcotics. James, are you there? Good to hear you. I'll be on the line, but remember, in this place, desynchro can be deadly. Got any symptoms yet? Thanks. Never felt better. Damn it. I can't see anything. Do you think there are any traces left after all this time? I was here. How am I? Not one big lead. No, no ticket jokes, conductor? Anything? That motherfucker had to shoot everyone. Lost. What? Why can't I remember anything? Most of the blood evaporated in the fire. Maybe the UV will detect something. Probably like most of the victims. Where to run or hide. Some bodies were permanently damaged. There's something here. I have to check it out. Check it. It's familiar. It fits my gun. Did I? No. I need to look for more evidence. I don't. There was a major firefight here before the derailment. I'll check where the shooter was. Reconstruct. James, think again. The Reconstructor will try to use your memories because you were there. It'll be fine, Sarah. No, you won't. I... Wait. James, wait for me. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. I have something. I'll explain later. Um... Difficult. 
special moment together. Can't remember. I'll tell you what happened. I was chasing a dealer who was running away in the crowd. about the train. From a synchro test? Is this how he brings out memories? Get out of my head! Are you alive? Is that blood? uses your memories against you. into gaps left by the D6 and modifies them. I don't know. He hacks synchro tests and finds out everything. He does it somehow. Run away from there. Come home and we'll talk about it. Don't reconstruct any further, understand? I can't be with you now. <laughs> what? I'll explain later. Ugh, my body is in trouble. Okay? Over and out. <gasps> My own fears, feeding on her death. Reconstructing this is gonna be Sisyphus' work. The difference is Sisyphus tried to cheat death, not to immerse himself in it. Rachel had one. She wore it to games.
I will not kill. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs>
don't want to go in there. Why not? Why are you doing this? You're dragging yourself to the grave. What the fuck? You don't understand. All of this has power over you. Relax. of you being sorry. The world is tired to see you too. <laughs> Why do you quit so hard to this pathetic life? It makes no sense. Give it up. I want to help you. is like an amputation. When it comes too late, it's sure to bring blood and pain, and as likely as not, little else. James, where are you going? Don't worry, I'm just below the park. I'm running more friends in blue. I'm already flying over. Over the park. Regroup on 57 and stop them from getting. 
getting south. I'll be there soon. That's not an easy day to be a police chief. It's not easy for anyone. himself if he tried. A forest of fake trees that last forever without actually being alive. What exactly happened? All I know is the mob ripped through the police cordon and attacked the rich folks at Green Celebration. Where's Selma now? James? Are you there? I, I've lost my vision. Talk to me. Copy. James! Oh, you're alive. You okay? Did you get hit hard? James, are you okay? I think so. I had a hard landing. Court police car crashed near me. Did you literally run into one of our friends in blue? There he is! Quick! Report it! I don't think she's hurt. We don't know if someone's after her. What I love about this car is that on any given day, it always looks better than I do. for a police car was sent out automatically. Great. A great day for scrap dealers. Not for anyone else. The road's closed. We gotta go around it. I see some kind of statue. How big? Pretty fucking big. Great. Probably the Morai statue from Green's exhibit, where his farewell happened. Head towards it. I'm trying. Bugging me. Whose idea was it to say goodbye to Green here? I don't know. Probably the city. It was the last exhibition he sponsored. Why does it matter? I'm wondering if this could have been planned. You think what's happened here is also part of the murderer's plan? Look, everything happens on the day of Green's funeral. And it all started with him. 
And as far as paralyzing the city and causing chaos, well, it works. But what was the goal? Or a step toward the goal? I don't know, honestly. Say the statue was of? Morai. That explains a lot. Morai were the goddesses of fate. All I know is that they watched over the life threat of mortals and gods. Oh, nice. I have to take a roundabout route to them. How's Salma? Oh, slowing down. She seems to be running out of strength. mean oh. anything. For what? 
front. To get close to Cove 11 Creed, it's the other way around. I got to salvo.
I dragged my feet calling for a long time. I knew you wouldn't pick up, obviously, but it still wasn't easy. Bits and pieces of our last conversations haunt me at night. I still can't put them together. I believe that you had your reasons. I have to believe it. I tried to find something out from Salma, but she completely cut herself off and removed the Sonin GPS tracker. I thought, I thought it was over for me. Until one day, some bigwigs in suits came in here. I shot one of them. Stupid misunderstanding, just like with you. I didn't think Salma would send anyone. She arranged for a body exchange and transferred the payment. And because of the riots, no one even bothered to question me. So I finally had a bit of luck. If I just do it once or twice more, I'll have enough money to get Taylor out. I'll fight for her. Just like you'd fight for Rachel. <sighs> Take care, partner. <laughs>